Thrawn Alliances introduced us to the Chiss girls who were able to navigate the unknown regions by using the Force. Known as Skywalkers, they used what they called the Third Sight to see any obstacles in their path and then adjust accordingly. Trips that would normally take weeks or months would instead take a matter of hours or days. They were considered to be one of the Chiss Ascendancy's most precious secrets and their greatest strategic advantage. But they weren't the only beings able to travel the unknown regions at great speed. The new book, Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising, tells us that there was an entire Navigator's Guild that hired out their services to the various factions actions of the Unknown Regions. They were able to access the Force as well, which they called the Great Presence. Just like we've seen the Skywalkers and Darth Vader accomplish, they could see any potential problems in hyperspace and would move to avoid them. The Navigator Guild was made up of multiple species that had these abilities. Two specifically are mentioned, called the Void Guides and the Pathfinders. Void Guides were distinguished by their culture's crosshatch of green, red, and blue tattoos. Pathfinders were aliens who had winglets on their cheeks that would open and close. The Navigator's Guild sought only to help those who needed their services, for a fee, of course. They wanted to remain neutral in any conflict and would refrain from providing information about their clients to anyone who came asking. It wasn't unheard of for a member of the guild to break those rules, but doing so would mean exile for not only the individual, but their entire species. Although the Chiss had the Skywalkers, they sometimes found themselves in need of the Navigator's Guild. This was usually when they were on a diplomatic mission and they wanted to offer up the appearance that the Guild was their only option when navigating hyperspace and did not want to give up their strategic secrets. The Guild members didn't seem fond of working with the Chiss, who normally thought of themselves as greater than the other beings found throughout the Unknown Regions. However, it did appear that the Pathfinders and Void Guides had one ability the Chiss Skywalkers might not have. They were capable of tracking each other through hyperspace. They could sense the presence of one of their kinsmen and follow that trail through the Great Presence. What I really like about this development is that it makes the galaxy feel even bigger. We know so little about the unknown regions right now, which should be implied by the name, but seeing a new Force-based belief system out there is really cool, and I love that every time we have encountered the Force out there so far, it goes by a different name. Of course, these disconnected people would create their own beliefs with their own names and doctrines. They're not even remotely familiar with the Jedi or the Sith, so why would they call it the Force? I like seeing these new takes on elements that we recognize. It makes me feel like we've only just scratched the surface of the galaxy and all it holds. If you want to check out Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising for yourself, you can pick it up for free on Audible by clicking on the link in the description or by going to www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained. The audiobook is out right now, and the production value on all the Star Wars audiobooks is very high with sound effects and music. It's like listening to a movie. Signing up for an Audible trial will get you a credit for one free audiobook, and you can use it on Chaos Rising or just about any Star Wars book you can think of. Or get anything you want. The point is, you get a free book, and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.